Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Sailor Moon. Let's get started in the middle of our page with the eyes. I'm going to start on the left side and I'm going to draw a large oval for the iris, starting from the top, come around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now we want to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to line up the top, Now in the middle of the iris, I'm going to draw a smaller oval for the pupil. On the bottom left side, I'm going to draw a small circle for a little highlight. And then on the bottom right side, we're going to draw three little angled lines. Starting on the bottom, so angle down. We're going to shift over, leaving a little gap down in a little angle and then go back up to the top and go outwards. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now along the top of the iris I'm going to draw a curve for the upper eyelid. Starting on the left side, just on the outside, curve up just on top of the eye and then just pull that in with a short curve. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside, On the sides of the eyelid, I want to draw two little curly eyelashes. Starting on the bottom on the left, we'll curve up. We're going to step up and draw one more. Do the same thing on the right side. At the bottoms of the eye, we're going to draw three little eyelashes. So starting on the bottom, right down the middle, we'll come down to the straight line. Moving over towards the left, we're just going to angle this out. And then on the right, we'll angle it in. Above the eyelid, we're going to draw a little curve for the double eyelid. Just curving just above. Do that on both sides. Now in between the eyes, right in the middle here, we're going to draw the nose. So we're going to start in the center, we're going to curve down and out towards the left, and we'll just angle down towards the middle. Just below the nose, we're going to draw a little curve for the mouth. Let's move to the outside of the eyes and draw on the sides of the head coming down towards the chin. Starting on the left side, start out here, we're going to curve in and down, just underneath the mouth towards a point. We'll do the same thing on the right, so stepping over, curving down and in, right towards the point. Now just below the lower eyelash, we're going to draw two little lines, just coming down like that, same thing on the right. Now from these two points on the side, we're going to draw the ears, so we're going to start on the left side, curving out. Pull that in and then right in behind the head. Right up here, we just want to draw a little hook for the inner ear. We'll do the same thing on the right side, starting at the top. And we'll draw that little hook. Let's add in the little earrings. So we're going to start the bottom ear lobe on the left side. Just draw a little circle. Draw another circle below it. And we'll draw one more. Just below the bottom circle, we're going to draw in a sideways moon. So starting on the side, we're going to curve around the bottom circle. Now we're going to connect those two points with another curve, coming down and then back up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. On the bottom earlobe, we'll draw a little circle. Step down, draw another circle, and then one more. And at the bottom here, we're just going to draw that sideways moon, curving around. Now we're going to move up above the eyes and draw in the hair bangs. So we're going to start in the middle, just at the top. Right here we're going to draw a point. We're going to draw a little curl going out towards the left, going up, and pulling that back around. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. We're going to take these points and just taper them up. Now we're going to draw another hair bang coming down, curving down towards that double eyelid. Same thing on the right side. And then we're going to hook these back up. We'll draw another one coming down, just to the corner of that double eyelid. And then we're going to pull these back up again. Now from here we're going to step down and curve down towards the top of the head, just above the ear. Stepping down the left, curving down on both sides. Now we're going to take these points and curve around and up.
starting on the left side, just above the ear. We'll hook it around and then in. And the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna move over just above the ears and curve around that little curl and up towards the sides. Starting on the left side, curve around and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Starting on the side of the ear, bring around and then in. Now we'll take these points, curve up and then down towards the middle. Starting here, we go up and just pull that down towards the middle. We do the same thing on the right side. Starting in the center, go up curve it down towards the right side. Let's add a few little hair strands on the top here. So on the left side, we're just gonna curve around and then in. And step up and draw another curve. Do the same thing on the right. Curving around and in, stepping up, and pulling that line in. In between these two hair bangs, we're gonna draw in the little headband. So from that point, we're gonna step down and draw a point. From this point, I'm just gonna angle up and underneath the hair bang, do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna step down in between the eyes, right down here. Now I'm gonna curve up underneath the hair bang. So we're gonna curve up towards the left, and we're gonna go up towards the right. Now I just wanna add a little trim along the top and the bottom. Stepping down. And we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Starting at the top, come in behind the hair, towards the middle, go up on the right side. And then in the center right here, we're gonna draw a little oval for the little gem. On the top here, we're gonna draw in two circles just tucked in behind the head. So on the left side, we're gonna step down here and draw a big circle. Move around and then tucking this in behind the head. We wanna draw a slightly smaller circle on the inside. Starting from the top, circle around back up towards the top. We're just gonna trim this out, so stepping down again, just adding a little trim on the outside. And then we'll add a little circle on the top left for a highlight. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're gonna line up the top and draw in that circle. And draw a smaller circle on the inside, starting from the top again. We'll step in and just Trim it out on the inside. And then on the top left, we'll draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Let's add the little curved ridges around the outside. So starting from the top on the left, curving up and out towards the left. On the bottom, we're gonna flip this over. Starting at the bottom, we're gonna curve inwards. On the side, so on the left side here, we're gonna curve it up and then down. And then we'll do the opposite on the inside, curving up. Now in between, we're gonna draw another curve. Starting in here, curve over. Same thing at the bottom left, top right, and then the inside. Let's do the same thing over here. Starting at the top, we'll curve up and over towards the left. Down here, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. On the right, we're gonna curve it up. And then on the inside, we'll curve it down. And we're just gonna go in between and draw another curve. One final thing, I just wanted to add a little hairline in the inside here. So stepping over from the center towards the left, we'll curve up and out. We'll leave a little gap and do the same thing on the right side. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. So just below the chin, stepping down, we draw a little point. From this point, I want to curve up and underneath the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. In the middle here, I'm going to draw a curve from left to right, going across and then we'll draw that same moon on the inside. Curving across first, then going along the bottom. Now let's draw on the bottom edge of the collar. So from this point, I'm gonna curve out and then up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna curve these up underneath the head. Let's add a little trim. So we're gonna take this curve and just duplicate it just above it. And then we'll do that one more time. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna step down here and draw in the bow. So we start with a circle in the middle. On the left side at the top, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left. And we'll do the same thing on the right. 
We're gonna step down and do the opposite. We're gonna curve down and then out towards the left, down and out towards the right. We'll connect the top and the bottom with a curve, just bowing it out. And then on the sides of the circle, we're just gonna draw a little hook, a little wrinkle. We're gonna add the second layer of the bow. So in the middle, we're gonna curve down towards the left and then towards the right. We're gonna curve these across towards the outside. And then we'll just pull this up underneath the front bow. Now we're gonna draw on the sides of the body. So just underneath the collar, around the bow, on the side of the bow, we're gonna curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. We'll take these two points, curve it down in towards the middle. Starting on the left, we'll curve it in and then down. Go up on the right side. We're gonna step up and just trim this out. Continue working down with the skirt. So from the sides of the body here, we're just gonna angle two lines going out. Now we'll connect those two points with a curve. Now we wanna add the pleats along the skirt. So we're gonna start at the bottom here, at this point, so drawing a straight line down. We'll draw two more lines on either side. So stepping over, angle down. Stepping over again, just angle it down towards the bottom. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's tuck the legs in underneath the skirt. So we're gonna leave a gap in the center. On the left side, we're gonna curve down towards the left. On the right side, we'll curve down towards the right. Now we're gonna draw a curve for the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, just curve it across. Do that on both sides. Now from the toe, we're gonna to curve the front of the foot. So curving up and in. Now we're gonna curve the outside of the leg. Now I'm gonna take this point and curve in towards the hip, but we're gonna go right underneath the skirt. On both sides. We're gonna trim out the bottom, drawing another curve just along the bottom of the foot. And then we're gonna move up and draw in the top edge of the boot. So about halfway down the leg, we're gonna go up with a short angle and then curve it down and then in towards the inside of the leg. Do the same thing on the right. Curving up towards the outside, angling down. We just want to add a little trim, so we're just going to copy that just below it. Now we're going to go in and tuck the arms in underneath the collar. So about halfway down the body, we're going to curve out and then down. We're going to draw on the thumb, so a little half circle. And at the end of the thumb, we'll just draw a little bracket. At the bottom curve of the thumb, we're just going to swirl around the bracket and pull it up. Step down again, curving up again for the second finger. Now the third finger is gonna go all the way up underneath the collar. And we wanna to try to leave a little bit of an overlap on the collar, right there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Lining up the inside of the arm, curving down, round up the thumb. We'll do that little bracket at the end of the thumb. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna swirl around the bracket and pull it up. Step down, second finger, Stepping down again, the third finger is going to go all the way around, then up underneath the collar. Let's add in the sleeve. So right where the arm meets the body, I'm going to curve up and then out. Add some lines in here. Starting back down at the bottom, we'll curve up and out, just tapering it out. I'm going to do that one more time. We'll do the same thing on the right. Curving up and out. Second curve. And then the third one underneath the collar. We're going to add the gloves. So right up here, draw a curve about halfway down the arm. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we just wanna add a little trim. Stepping down, we're gonna add another curve. And then in between, we'll just split it in half. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now the final thing, we're just gonna add two long strands of hair coming down. So we're gonna start on the side of the head here, curving in, going out, and just curving that back in. Now I'm gonna start just underneath the ear and you're gonna taper it so it gets wider as we come down towards the bottom. So curving around and then going really wide as we come down to the bottom. We'll connect those two points with a curve. I'm gonna go back up to the top and just draw another curve right in between these two lines. Starting at the top, and just split this in half. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Starting underneath this side of the hair, in, 
out and then down toward the bottom to the same height. Go underneath the ear and we're just going to taper this so it gets really wide as we come down towards the bottom. And then again, connecting those two points with a curve. We'll go back up to the top and just split this in half all the way towards the bottom. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Sailor Moon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.